Hi there, this is Paula with Bark. Here's how to manage the contacts on your kid's Bark phone. Open up your parent app or dashboard, tap on your child's profile, and tap on contacts. Review, approve, and or block contacts here. If you have contact approval enabled and an unapproved contact texts your child, your child will not see the message, but will be asked whether they want to submit that contact for approval. And same vice versa. If they text or call an unapproved contact, it'll automatically trigger this question asking them if they want to submit it for approval. Similarly, if an unapproved contact calls your child, your child will not hear or see the call, but will be asked whether they want to submit that contact for approval. The experience of the person on the other end is that their call would go straight to voicemail. You can also turn off contact requests while leaving contact approval enabled. This means your child won't see those contact approval requests on their phone when an unapproved contact reaches out. If you don't want to wait for a contact request, just click add contact. You can set whether it's an allowed or blocked contact that way as well. And lastly, if you ever change your mind about a contact, you can always click edit on them to change the rule from blocked to allowed or vice versa. As a parent or guardian, when you allow a contact on your dashboard, your child may even get a push notification letting them know that that contact is now approved. As you can see here, it says you can now chat, message, or call. And as is the case for all these rules changes, it may take a few minutes for changes to take effect. Making sure that the device has a reliable internet connection helps speed this along. And that's contact settings. Check out our other videos for other bar phone tips.